Hello guys, how are we all doing today? My name is Frances Mwecheta. I talk about everything concerning our ski and nursing here in the UK. Alright, so guys, please subscribe. Share to your friends who are nurses here in the UK and outside the UK. Please guys. Alright, so today we'll be talking about wound assessments. It's a 6 minutes procedure. It is a pet procedure with aseptic non-touch technique. ANTT is the wound dressing and it takes 15 minutes. So if you pair them together, it's 21 minutes. All right, guys. So in this procedure, you'll be given a pictorial representation of the wound you are supposed to assess. And the mannequin will be there with a wound um, dressing on the hand. Okay. So you'll, you'll, you'll be expected to be looking at the picture and be talking to your patient as well. Okay, so what you do here is I'll give you some tips at the end of the video. Make sure you watch till the end so you get the tips, okay? All right, so while holding the picture, you can use this acronym called TIME, T-I-M-E. T there is tissue, I is inf infection slash inflammation, M is moisture, and E, edges. So with this up head, upstairs, you can use it to say describe the whole wound okay so you, with this you don't have any issues at all so what are you talking about tissues tissue is the surrounding tissues what are you saying there is the wound is it swollen is there any um, or is there redness or is the wound excoriated is there any edema so you're mentioning all these but before they make sure you say okay this wound is a surgical wound depending on the kind of wound you're having. So you can say, this is a surgical wound with eight stitches, depending on the number of stitches. Make sure you count it, okay? And verbalize to your examiner. So I can see the surrounding of the wound. There is no swelling, no edema, no redness. The wound is not excoriated, okay? So I can see there is no sign of infection, no erythema. The wound is well, um, there is not a part, is well aligned so i can see there is no exudates from this wound which is the moisture there is no exudate no pus no serous um fluid or anything coming out from the wound so for coming to the edges the wound is well approximated they are well they are in in good alignment okay so after doing that you go ahead to advise your patient you also ask the patient are you do you feel any pain can i feel it gain consent and can i feel the pain can I touch the wound to see if it's tender to touch? So you, when the patient gives you the consent, you go ahead and touch the wound. Okay, so it's not tender to touch. So then you give the patient advice based on what you've seen on the wound. If there's any hesitate from the wound, of course, you know, sample will be taken and sent to the laboratory for further investigation. And make sure you refer this patient to the tissue viability nurse. Very important. Okay, then you give nutritional advice. You tell the patient, um, I will advise you to eat food rich in protein, vitamins, and minerals. It will help to facilitate the healing of the wound. Okay? Very simple, guys. Then you make sure you verbalize to your examiner that you do a proper documentation of what you have assessed. Very important. Okay? Then after that, you make sure you take off your hand glove, you take off your apron, put in the, the in the clinical waste. Remember your waste, waste strategy. So you have to remove and put in the clinical waste. You gel your hand and make sure you leave the patient comfortably and cover the patient to maintain privacy and dignity. Is that okay? So I'm going to demonstrate for you now. So let's go, guys. So your examiner will tell you, assume all checks are done. Assume you've done your ID check and everything has been done. So proceed to your patient. All right. So you, you apply, put an ample of alcohol gel on your palm. Rub my hand palm to palm. I'll do that now so you can see. I apply an apple of alcohol gel on my palm, rub my hand palm to palm, right hand over left dozen with fingers interlaced and vice versa. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, fingers interlocked, rotational rubbing of the thumb, rotational rubbing of the thumb, tips of the finger, tips of the finger, and the wrist. I allow my hand to dry for 30 seconds and I'm happy to proceed. So I'll put on my apron. I'll put on my hand glove. So, hello, my 
name is Frances. Um, are you are you comfortable at the moment? Yeah. All right. So I'm here today to do a wound assessment for you. I would like to assess your wounds to see and if there's any changes. Okay. Are you happy for us to continue? Yes. All right. So um, please, Master. So can I confirm that a pain assessment has been done prior to this procedure, please? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. So um, you're having your picture on your hand. Okay. So I can see. Um, this is a surgical wound with about eight stitches. You make sure you count it with about eight stitches. So I can see the surrounding of the wound is not excoriated. There is no edema. There is no swelling. Okay. So I can see there is no sign of infection, no erythema. I can see as well there is no exudate coming out from the wound. If there's any, any exudate, please verbalize that. I can see some dry exudate or for um, um, serous exudate depending on the color. Is it greenish? Is it yellowish? You verbalize that. So I can see there is no exudate on this wound. The wound is dry. Okay. So I can see the edges of the wound is well approximated. It is well defined. The closed jaw is not apart. It is well is in alignment. All right. So I'll go ahead and ask my patients. Can I feel your wounds to see if it's tender to touch, please? Yes. All right. So I can see. Oh, sorry, it's not tender to touch. Um, uh, do you feel any pain? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you rate the pain for me? So sorry about that, okay? Can you rate the pain for me within a scale of 0 to 10? 0 being no pain at all and, and 10 being the highest pain, please. Um, 2. Oh, sorry, okay? So you go ahead and reassure those patients. I'll, I'll tell the patient now, okay, so sorry about the pain you're feeling, all right? So I'm going to check your mask sheet to see if, after this procedure, I'll check your mask sheet to see if you are prescribed any analgesics, and I'll be getting that for you after the procedure. Is that okay by you? Yes. Okay. So I'll make sure I document, I'll do a proper documentation of everything I've assessed. So I'll, I'll be advising you... Um. So make sure if there's any exudate on the wound, I will inform, I will make sure a swab test is taken and sent to the lab for further investigation. And I'll be referring you to the tissue viability nurse. Are you happy about that? Yes. Okay, so that's if there's any exudate, okay? So I'll be referring you to the medical team and to the tissue viability nurse, okay? All right, so I also advise you to eat food that, that is rich in protein, vitamins, and minerals. So it can help to facilitate the healing of the wounds is that okay by you yes all right so this wound will be reassessed maybe it depends on what is in the care plan this wound will be reassessed in the next three days or two days depending on what you see there so you go ahead take off your hand glove you put in a clinical waist take off your apron I'll put in the clinical waste. Then I'll gel my hand. Rub my hand palm to palm. Right hand over left dozen with fingers interlaced and vice versa. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of the thumb, rotational rubbing of the thumb, tips of the finger, tips of the finger, and the wrist. And that's it, guys. Very simple. Guys, Oski is simple. Don't be scared. I assure you. Stick to your marking criteria. Make sure you, you follow the allocated time. The time will be there on the wall for you to see. So make sure you adhere strictly to your time so you meet up, okay? So you don't start shivering or maybe you get scared along the line and you, you lose control of what you're doing. So make sure you're focused, all right? So and make sure you verbalize that pain assessment will be done prior to the, assess to the wound assessment. It is very important, guys. Make sure you put on your apron and your hand glove because it's a wound. Treat it as a wound. All right, guys. So I'll see you in my next video. Please subscribe, share to your friends who are nurses and for, for, um, those who are here in the UK and outside the UK, okay? Thank you, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.